We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold support here above the 467 area, trying to bounce back up towards 470. And in today's volatility, our SPY bot at 1 p.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows cross the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness down 42 vision and put options went up 80% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index fighting to hold support here in today's volatility and we're going to break down the key levels i would watch going into next week what's going on with the inflow versus outflow and bow and bear indicators but before we do i want to share with you guys the home opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run day was from our qqq bot our qqq bot at 905 a.m sent out a bull indicator and from that moment forward inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside full strength on 42 vision and call options went up 140 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, doing a full transition from bright green bars to white with red borders in today's volatility. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index this spy stock with a bear indicator since yesterday for the first time since the bull indicator down here on the 30 minute at the 462 60 level it lasted for the last three days and yesterday it actually got a bear indicator at the 472 area and we were watching here as it rejected going into the after hours creating a double top if it continued to do the full transition and the last piece that was missing was white with red borders right and it's hit it twice in today's volatility this bear indicator dominated over the chart and it's hit lows here so far of 468.50 using as support and creating almost a double bottom effect here and this is going to be crucial going into next week right if it goes ahead and continues this strength and uses this support and actually cancels out this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator and we're going to break down the key levels i would watch and what's going on with the inflow versus outflow in just a moment now when we go ahead and zoom out and look at this from the one hour we could see that the first bear indicator has popped up from the last several days and weeks since way down here at the 455 level and here we are with a bear indicator at the 470 level tried coming back up towards it at the end of the day 
that's going to be a crucial resistance here as it quickly rejected and came back down to 469 and here it is in the after hours trying to get itself back up above the 470 level now this is something to not ignore here that a bear indicator has now popped up on the one hour in the bigger picture and again the last piece missing if this weakness continues to do a full transition on 42 vision is white with red borders now in the volatility of the 15 minute when we zoom in we could see a bear indicator popped up at the 472 area double top up here in the middle of the day back up towards the 473 level and it continued to dominate going into today and again full transition into white referred borders as i call it the dip area hit it two times and the question mark is could it use it as support to start bouncing itself back up and that's what we're going to break down in today's video and we're going to take a look at what's going on with the spy stock with the inflow versus outflows and bull and bear indicators here we are with the spy stock the s p 500 index with the inflow versus outflow showing that in the first half of the day the outflows were dominating and they crossed over into the bell and after the bell you could see that weakness in the charts as those outflows continued to pull away from the midpoint and every time they were red and as soon as it turned green in the second half going into the close it finally crossed back over here on the 30 minute chart and inflows are back above the 0.76 area and it has a far stretch to go to be able to pull away and start to reflect any further strength into these charts and that's going to be crucial to justify this move back up here if not if it crosses back down it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts and that's based off the 30 minute here so far now when we zoom out and look at this from the bigger picture on the one hour we could see on the one hour chart outflows crossed over they stayed above yesterday flat pre-market flat and today in the middle of the day on that sharp drop which is actually when our bull indicator popped up from our bot you could see it there popping up earlier in the video i broke it down in the middle of the day it sent out a bear indicator and things dropped pretty sharply and here we could see it on the one hour the outflows crossed over for the first time since the last several days and weeks right this is the first time outflows cross over and now they're trying to come back up here even though outflows are dominating they're back to green and near the midpoint and that's going to be something to not ignore here going into next week now on the 30 minute inflows are back above but in the volatility of the 15 minute they've crossed back over and these outflows have slightly began and it is really close to the midpoint if this crosses to the downside it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts so it's going to be crucial and critical for the bulls to push this one up away from the midpoint now what are the key levels i would watch well the first thing is support guys if these outflows cross over to the downside roll that weakness over into the 30 minute as well crossing to the downside below the midpoint the first support is 468.50 then below that i'll be watching the 467 level and then comes the 465 to 463 area so those are the key levels i'll be watching to the downside to the upside it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to switch from red to green pull away from the midpoint reflect that strength into these charts roll it over into the 30 minute as well and the first resistance is the 471 area then above that is 473 and then i'll be watching the 475 area so these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside the born bear indicators are going to be crucial and the inflow versus outflows i would not ignore them they're really close to the midpoint they're back above here on the 30 minute they're fighting to get back above on the one hour and on the 15 minute it's turned red but it's still above and it needs to turn green and here in the live action this spy has just broken through 470 it's been fighting to get back above it it is now and it's going to be crucial to not ignore that going into next week i'll be watching that very carefully as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money